Hi everyone! In this lecture, we are going to talk about the model template view pattern. The model template view pattern is an architectural pattern used by most Flask applications. This pattern provides us with a set of best practices on how to best organize our code. Now, all Python frameworks, uh, web frameworks, follow this pattern. Uh, the name might be different, especially if it is outside the world of Python. It is usually called by, uh, by the name Model View Controller or MVC, which is basically the same thing as the MTV, but with a different name. So we have three types of uh, components within this pattern. We have models, we have templates, and we have views. So to make our application follow the MTV pattern, we need to use templates, and we will incorporate a library called Jinja to implement this functionality. Then we need to add a data model. Now Flask does not give us any way to do this, so we need to use an extension to connect to some kind of database. But in this project, what I've done is I've uh, I've just tried to focus on the Flask side of the application, and I'm not going to connect to any database, and we are just going to use a very simple JSON file as our database. Now, Jinja templates are um, going to display our data to the user. In the context of a web app, displaying data basically means creating a web application. Now, we use these templates to generate HTML that the browser can display. We are going to take a look at how to call these templates from the view functions and how to pass data from the view function to our template. And displaying data is done through Jinja variables, which we are going to talk about in our next lecture. So, so far, what we have done inside our application is I've just removed the page number two and three. So we are just in the welcome page in the root URL. And what we have done so far is we have provided simple strings in, instead of actual HTML code or elements that the browser can render within our uh, view functions so we just have very simple strings we don't have any html code in here and you can see that if we try to provide any kind of html code in here within these quotes then it is going to become very very difficult to understand and to manage so that is why we are going to create a separate component called a template that will generate the html for us now, Flask does expect a location to be used for these templates. So first of all, I'm just going to come here and I'm going to click in the root directory, which is this folder, Full Stack Web Development with Flask, and I'm going to create a directory or a folder. And I'm going to name it Templates. Be very careful when creating this folder because if you provide it with any other name, it is not going to work. Even if you just say template and remove this, you're going to end up with a Jinja exception, a template not found Jinja exception. So to avoid those kind of problems, make sure you um, provide the name as templates. And I'm just going to click here. So we do have this templates here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create our very first HTML file. So within this templates, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say new file and I'm going to call it welcome.html or we could call it like home. I'm just going to call it home.html. So this is the home page of our application. Now in here, uh, by default, you're going to see that there is nothing. So we know how we can generate a simple HTML boilerplate, a simple HTML application structure by just holding shift and pressing one. So this is going to give us a simple HTML web uh, page, it's the structure for a web page. And I'm just going to call it um, animal trivia. I'm just going to call it animal tr uh, a trivia app. And within this, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create uh, an, an H1. So we do have something within here. So I'm going to say H1 and I'm going to say animal, animal trivia. 
Let's save that. So we have created this. Now, how can we call this HTML page from our view function? How can we do that? So instead of this string, what I'm going to do is, first off, um, uh, uh, I'm going to import the render template function. So I'm going to say render template, and then we are going to use that render template in here. So I'm going to say render template and then the first argument for the render template is always going to be the html page the name of that html page now because it does expect your html pages to be within the templates directory you do not need to provide the name of this directory the name of this templates you don't have to do that because by default it is going to go in there and look for this home.html so i'm going to say uh home dot HTML and I'm going to I'm going to save this now if I try to run this you're going to see that it, it shows our animal trivia h1 which comes from this this um, uh, HTML page so you can see that the title of the HTML page is animal trivia app and then we have this h1 in here and we can also inspect that so I'm just going to bring this up so let me just uh where are you there we go let's bring this down let's go to body and there we go we got an animal trivia there we go so it is it is coming from this file right here so uh, what this render template does for us is it is going to call that template we are going to pass the name of it and then it is going to render that rendering basically means it is going to like process it and give it to the to whatever engine that is responsible for this html pages now what engine is responsible that is the browser the browser is responsible so when it renders that the template it is going to give it to the browser and then we are basically now we are in our very first steps of creating our final application so so far we have just been able to create the title for this application that's it for this lecture see you in the next one